Black holes are essentially very coarse material matter structures of vast sizes that originated from gigantic collapsed suns, as well as partially from collapsed galaxies, and have nothing to do with holes. Nothing will be swallowed up and displaced into another dimension or some other time shift reality. Only an existing black hole can give birth to a galaxy. It draws or tears very far-reaching nebulae, gases, dust, particles, suns and planets, as well as meteors, comets and asteroids, into its band through the gravitational field, whereby everything within many light years of the black hole begins to rotate around it, eventually forming a galaxy whose entire mass rotates at enormous speed in a bar-shaped or spiral-shaped form. Furthermore, there are still black holes that exist in free space, some of which are stationary, while others wander around free space, as is also the case with black clouds, i.e. dark matter clouds, which are simply referred to as dark clouds by earthly astronomers. Due to the entire mass of the collapsing sun or galaxy being squeezed together, i.e. compressed to the point where a small amount of matter weighing only one cubic centimetre weighs many tons, this matter creates a strong gravitational field which is then pulled in by the black hole. The compression body of the black hole then increases, becoming stronger and larger the more heavenly bodies that it pulls in. As a result of this expansion, the gravitational field becomes increasingly powerful and far-reaching. The gravitational field of our galaxy, the Milky Way, is much larger than 100,000 light years in diameter. Because of this, it can also be recognised that a galaxy can only form from an existing black hole. It eventually eats the entire galaxy, which will likewise happen to the Milky Way one day, but will take millions or billions of years 